Our memory is the very essence of what makes each one of us unique. Whether it be remembering where our favorite things are, our name, conversations with our loved ones, or even certain documents, it allows us to retain a sense of identity amongst the constantly changing world surrounding us. Over 50 million people worldwide are currently living with Alzheimer's or other related dementias, and this number is only looking to increase over the next two decades. So what is Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's disease is one of the most common forms of dementia, which are a set of symptoms caused by damage to our brain cell. A set of symptoms which include memory loss, changes in mood and behavior, and difficulty in thinking or reasoning. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurodegenerative disease, which means symptoms worsen over time as more and more damage the brain suffers. Starting from mild memory loss, progressing into an inability to carry conversations, responding to the environment, and even forgetting how to perform basic and familiar tasks. For 25 years, the leading theory behind the cause of Alzheimer's has been the amyloid hypothesis. Amyloid hypothesis has been controversial in the science community because of its failure to lead to a successful drug cure. The amyloid hypothesis assumes that the accumulation of a toxic protein called amyloid beta is a root cause behind Alzheimer's. Researchers believe that amyloid beta clumps form deposits in the brain that trigger neurodegenerative processes that lead to memory loss and declines in cognitive ability. Amyloid beta has been the main therapeutic target for clinical trials for Alzheimer's and this effort has remained unsuccessful as there is still no cure for the disease. And so, there is a clear need for a new way of thinking about this disease. Fortunately, Dr. Donald Weaver and his team in Toronto, Canada have devised a new theory for Alzheimer's. Dr. Weaver re-evaluates Alzheimer's not as a disease of the brain, but rather a disease of the immune system within the brain. Compared to the previous notion of beta amyloid being a toxic molecule, Dr. Weaver's research shows that it is released by the immune system to serve as a protective function within the brain. For example, beta amyloid is released by the immune system to help with the repairing of brain damage from head injuries. It even helps the body fight bacteria within the brain due to its antimicrobial properties. However, a problem arises. Because of the similarities between the surfaces of a bacteria and a neuron, beta amyloid cannot differentiate between the two. As a consequence, beta amyloid accidentally attacks the brain cells which it is supposed to be protecting. After the self-attack, the resulting products from the breakdown of a neuron spread to other nearby neurons recruiting further release of beta amyloid and ultimately turning it into a chronic progressive cycle of loss of brain cell function. To summarize, Dr. Weaver's research has characterized Alzheimer's as an autoimmune disease in which our own immune system attacks the body's own cells, in this case, the brain cells. Fortunately, this new theory opens up possibilities for potential disease-curing drugs. As of today, current treatments for Alzheimer's only aim to alleviate symptoms by increasing the performance of existing chemicals in the brain. However, this is not enough for patients with Alzheimer's and for families experiencing their loved ones in extreme pain. Through his research, Dr. Donald is aiming to develop future therapeutics which can hopefully inhibit the progression of the disease in patients. And so, with the use of complex experimental models, he screened furosemide as a potential candidate for an Alzheimer's cure. Furosemide was shown to reduce the production of toxic inflammation causing molecules which we previously talked about that spread to nearby neurons when neurons are damaged. Additionally, furosemide was also shown to improve the ability of the microglia, which are immune cells in the brain, to clear out toxic debris such as amyloid plaques. Furosemide has been proven to be safe as it is already an approved medication for other disorders in the body. However, according to Dr. Donald, the next focus is to develop a version of furosemide which will be able to cross the blood-brain barrier and ultimately develop it into a suitable drug to enter clinical trials. All in all, this new theory of Alzheimer's serves as a great opportunity for researchers to improve their understanding of the disease and to identify new targets for potential therapeutics, which will allow them to treat this devastating condition which has affected so much of the world and our loved ones.